Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. These brides have spent their whole lives dreaming of the perfect wedding day. Kate Midland eats your heart out. But these brides have absolutely no say in their big day. I don't no, like it at all. No, no. It doesn't suit me. It's not me. Because they are leaving all of the arrangements in the hands of the groom. But can they really trust their men with the biggest day of their lives? I want you to think, Megan. May as well have a bit of wind up as well. <laughs> Stop it. What have she been doing? For Mr. and Mrs. O'Keefe! It's the gamble of a lifetime. <laughs> but what if it doesn't pay off? Road help. I will. I will. No, I'll kill him. Tonight, Carpenter Roy wants to give Roseanne the wedding of a lifetime. They say it's a woman's day, but it's going to go on my way. But she has doubts about his ability to plan anything. He's, he's all over the place. Does she really want to start her big day with a death-defying stunt 100 feet above ground? With Roy, anything is possible. Oh, Jesus! This dress is 2,000 euro. What? Followed by a wet seaside wedding reception. But I'm just pissed off now. There'll be, there'll be just trouble. There'll be more than. Can this man give this woman her dream wedding? Or is he just plain crazy? <laughs> Roseanne Cunningham and Roy Mooney live in Holly Hill, Cork, and their paths crossed when this happy-go-lucky carpenter decided it was time he got a haircut. Seven years ago, Roy walked into the place I was working in, the barbers, and my whole Life, I say, I suppose, flashed before my eyes because I knew I was going to have him. We met, I would have been working in Blades and where I used to come in. And the girls at the time knew I used to be absolutely weak for him. It was just an instant connection, but I didn't believe that Roseanne would be that interested in me. Nothing was going to hold me back on that one. What I want, I guess. Everything is simplistic to Roy, you know. But what's, what's behind him, what puts it all together is Rosan. Obviously, he's the love of my life. He's my best friend. I never believed in soulmate, but he, he definitely is my soulmate. They started as a couple and grew into a team with five year old Alicia, 16 month old baby Dylan, and Rosanne's oldest daughter, Megan. 20 punches really quick. Soon Roy stopped his wild, wayward ways and settled down. Well, almost. He's a messer, a big messer, but I will have to say he is such a genuine guy behind it. He has such a big heart. UFC champion of the world. <laughs> <laughs> but this relationship was put under severe pressure when Roy spent three years working in Australia. It was horrible. I've had Christmas dinner on my own in a yeah. little small mining town and wondering what my kids were doing. It was so stressful, so lonely on both sides. It was absolutely horrible. Oh, I was distraught. I was absolutely distraught. It better both of us. It made us a lot stronger. Here now, after going through all of that, we're here together stronger than ever. And it's the place that we're going to forever be now, is together, you know? Absence did indeed make the heart grow stronger, so much that Roy found himself heading to buy a ring. I'd say Roseanne has been planning her wedding day from the day we met each other, to be honest. Big fairy tale, princess, Cinderella gown, up the church aisle, red carpet, sparkly shoes, everything. But Roy is a bit of a wedding cynic. It's the same thing, wedding after wedding, nothing changes, just the band. I don't know how he's going to do a wedding for 10 grand. The bigger, the better for Roy. He just thinks big and very big. I'm dreading the thought of it. Do you have no faith in me? No. <laughs> like, I know it's, it's all down to him. But at the same time, like, Roy can just go absolutely crazy with things. Make sure you keep me in your mind, that's all. Mm. And not all about you. As much madness and spontaneous lunacy that I can fill into that day, fill it with every type of emotion, I'll 
I love it. Jump on and uh, ride the wave. <laughs> Today at home in Holly Hill, there are big changes afoot. Roseanne is packing Roy's bag, ready for him to leave for three weeks to plan that perfect wedding. In one way, I'm used to packing his bags because of him being coming back and forth from Australia quite a lot. But it never gets easier. You think it would, but it doesn't. It gets, it's still the same. It's still the same feeling, still the same emotions. Because even when he was in Australia, they had Skype and Viber and they could ring and text and whatnot. Yeah. She'd wake up during the night when it was daytime over there just to talk to him. I know it's only for, for three weeks, but it will definitely be the longest and the hardest three weeks of my life. It's because I'm not being able to have pick up the phone. <sighs> I'm gonna miss him completely and just just dry himself. As much as he irritates me around the house, I'm gonna miss it. I'm definitely gonna miss all that. That's the one thing with Roseanne, I know she loves me for who I am, you know. And um, yeah, I'm grateful for that. Very grateful for that. The inseparable are about to be separated. The next time you see you, huh? <laughs> you like? <laughs> oh, Do you love me? How much? <laughs> Mm. Oh, so Roy's been gone barely a minute before Roseanne starts to wonder what she's letting herself in for. I just hope that that he doesn't just take the, f the freedom card, that he's away for three weeks and he can just go in and have the crack with the lads, that he's actually going to buckle down, I suppose, and do, do the work that he actually does need to do. For Roy, this means a trip back to his parents and the family home in Carrigaline for the next three weeks. Welcome back. It's only three weeks now, no more. Just three weeks. Roseanne is looking at this. This is her day. This is like the, the one day that she gets and the day that she's wanted for a long, long time. All the feelings are starting to come into it now and I'm kind of saying, oh shit. <laughs> Mum gets straight to the point. Don't have her crying. Don't have her crying that. Oh my God, she's had the right dress. I'm terrified of the dress. Actually, I am. Well, uh, yeah, it's a massive yeah. thing, and uh, yeah. I think I'd know her enough now to mm -hmm. kind of understand, kind of roughly what she would like. Um, so I just have the confidence the there, end. and I'll I'll pull this off. Day one, and Roy heads straight to the marina where he keeps his beloved boat. And he's assembled his elite wedding planner team, his brother Paul, who's best man, and his best friend, Chip. He's a crazy person, yeah? He's, I know him, I know him for a long time. Like, we've been, we've been together racing in the cars and stuff, like, you know, he's mental. We used to always be competing with each other, and Roy used to always be the one who the girls would look at, all these little things, you know, the little cute one. But as we got older, we became very good friends, so it's quite nice. So, what's the plan? Three weeks, 10 grand. I want an aviation team and an article team. I was always a wannabe pilot, so <laughs> the aviation team is definitely something that I've always held close to my heart. Uh, an article team, obviously, owning a boat, and I definitely want to incorporate that as well into it. Cool. So, the plan is to do a bit of wing walking on two aircraft, if it was a possibility. You, you go walking on this wing, or she is? Yeah, two of us are walking on the wing, and hopefully we can try to get married. If, it, if it's a logistic nightmare and it can't happen, well, then we're going to send myself and Roseanne up in a stunt play and on the day and do a couple yeah, of loop the loops. She's going to divorce this straight away. She's not going to wing walk, right? I wouldn't do that. No. Like, I don't know anyone who would do that. She'll be upset over it. She'll the anxiety of the, and the stress of the whole thing. She won't yeah. be able to enjoy the wedding. So that's a strong recommendation not to do that. If you want to exhilarate her, like, yeah. you know, make her feel alive on the day. Yeah, we'll you know? electrocute her. That'll be safer. <laughs> no, I think, I think that's where I'm going to put the foot down and I'll try to make that happen. The stunt plane, at least. I know the wing walking might be a bit too far fetched. But okay. I, I want to give her a day to remember. Yeah. You know, and she's going out with me, Roy Mooney. She knows what I'm all about. She knows me and my personality. Okay. This is your wedding as well, so we yeah, have yeah. to get yeah. behind you. Does she like flying? <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon is a good idea, sir? Paul is desperately trying to be the voice of reason. You can't do something. But Chip is not really helping. <laughs> oh, you bastard! Ah. Will you get out of the water? What's what, mate? Don't You are dead. You win. My word. Roy is the kind of guy who likes to jump in at the deep end, and he thinks that anything is possible, no matter how impossible it may seem. Roy is a very strong believer of all positive energy, no negative energy whatsoever. So he wrote, painted all of them down so that he'll wake up every morning and straight away have positive thoughts. But Roy's reputation for putting his plans into practice isn't quite so impressive. He definitely doesn't follow through in anything, really. He never sticks to just one thing and kind of stays with it. He, he, he's all over the place. So, come with this wedding, I'm really starting to lose faith as every day goes by. The days are flying by, but the airborne wedding is still on. Roy is checking out a venue for the ceremony at Atlantic Flight Academy. Cork Airport. I've just always had a passion for flying and it's not even flying, I just love the whole aviation side of everything. I'd love to be able to use one of the hangars here for the ceremony, have maybe one or two little planes inside or outside of the hangar and for Roseanne to walk through the hangar, airplanes either side. For me, that would be amazing. So how many people are you looking for? Um, well, I'm hoping to get 100 people, 100 guests. 400 people? You're looking about us putting on 30 members of staff. We wouldn't be able to accommodate that. We'd be looking to be honest more around the 20 to 30 guests. So that's a massive problem. That's a massive problem. Aren't Big it? problem. It's a three to one okay. ratio. So you can see if you have 100 guests, we've got 30. A wedding ceremony in a hangar with only 30 guests. Is that really what Rosanna's dreaming of? What I always would have dreamed of for my own wedding day is to have the whole experience of walking down the church aisle with everyone there, my whole family, my whole friends, everyone that I, w I would love to be there to witness my big day. So I'm just really hoping that the venue he does have sorted or is sorting still gives that experience for me. Planes and wing walking aren't on her list then. She'd be very happy with somewhere like the five star Hayfield Manor Hotel. Today she's showing her mother Noreen and bridesmaid Leanne the kind of place she hopes Roy will deliver. I got this in my room, sitting in, it, in your dress. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, wow, it's gorgeous. <laughs> 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 I'm afraid that the, the wedding is just going, going to be all Roy's terms and he's going to forget about me and just just cater for himself all mad random random things that Roy does really. She shouldn't worry. Roy hasn't forgotten her. He's organising a special adventure for her big day. A death-defying ride in a tiny stunt plane, wearing her wedding dress. I'm scared of bejesus out of her. I want her to really feel fair. Jesus. It's a bit out this there. This is a big, big risk. The wedding dress might be a bit tough to get in there. It might get a bit crumpled, you know, but... Uh, yeah, we'll that, just have to get a wedding like dress to suit. When we get her in, we're going to put her in that space there, OK? So you can see that we're going to need a carefully chosen wedding dress, you know, to fit in there. Can you properly scare the bejesus out of her? Well, I'll tell you what I can do better. I can show you what we can do if you'd like to come up with me now. Oh, gee. Yeah. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I'd be... Uh... In that case, all you got to do is sign this bit of paper. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll go off and we'll do it now. Do you want to do that? I'd be absolutely okay. freaked out, like... Are you scared, Roy, are you? Are you a little bit scared? What are you going to do it? Well, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. He was a lot braver when Roseanne was doing it. Poor old best man Paul, the voice of reason, is not invited to this wedding. So many reasons it's wrong. First and foremost, she could get sick in the dress. Second, like, you know, she may not even get into the thing. Uh, thirdly, she's going to feel like she's failed if she doesn't get into it and that'll ruin the entire day. Oh, wow, Roseanne. 
Meanwhile, Roseanne is falling in love with her dream venue. There's your bling. And she is planning on wearing a wedding dress that's not very aerodynamic. My dress is taking up the two seats next to me, I'd say. <laughs> This is just it, like, it's just absolutely stunning. The table is like Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? It has the wow factor. It's the fairy tale. It's the Cinderella. It's the Beauty and the Beast. It's all of them, it's all of them put into it. That's what I, exactly what I want, is the fairy tale. She wants the wow factor. Roy is going for the help me, I don't want to die factor. If anything happens, tell Roseanne that I do love her. I just really hope he's after knuckling down and not just Oh, fooling around with the boys like Roy can do. He's acting all tough now, but I guarantee as soon as the engine starts, he'll lose it. Hands in the face. Yeah, he's cacking it, yeah. But he won't show it, but he is cacking it. It's got a good idea in one way and a bad in the other. A good idea? For a wedding day? Really? It's a good idea for him because he likes he likes these kind of things like planes and, and things, you know? But I don't think it's a good idea for Roseanne. I don't think she's gonna enjoy that. No, I don't think she'll enjoy it either, but maybe he knows that better than we do. I've spent a couple of hundred bucks now on doing the flight today, but in my opinion, it's it's been worth it. It's the best experience of my life, and I hope it's going to be a great experience for Roseanne too. She's going to be terrified, absolutely petrified. Not Are you going to ask her to go ahead with it? Well, I, yeah, I'm, this is this is the plan. After an experience like that, you know, there's that moment of ecstasy, you know, where you're kind of saying, oh, fuck, that was amazing, you know? And yeah, I want to put her through that, you know? And when she comes back down, she'll be liberated and she'll be feeling great, hopefully, and then she's ready to marry the man of her dreams. But today, he faces one of his biggest tests, finding Roseanne's wedding dress. What I want is for everyone to have the gasp of, oh my good God, she is just gorgeous. I want that to happen. It's a simple task. Just find the most beautiful dress his bride has ever seen. Roy may never have bought a dress in his life, but he has his own philosophy to see him through. Buying a wedding dress is like going in a bra for the first time, isn't it? It's, you know, it's not exactly the easiest of jobs, but you know, I'm striving to make this a success. <laughs> right, all right, what's the story? How much are we spending? About 700 quid, yeah. And what kind of dress, kind of, what kind of dress are you looking for? Just find Roseanne, you know, a wedding dress for Roseanne. Okay, yeah. what does she like? I don't know, Father. It's all been fun up to here, but I just don't know how I'm going to say, right, that's the dress I'm going to put on her and hope that that's what she wants. I'm stressing out. I'm terrified right now that I might actually pick up the wrong dress and they'll be crying under the day and we'll put a massive damper under there. A tearful bride would definitely take the edge off the big day. But what does Roseanne want to walk down the aisle in? We need to find the biggest dress with a lot of bling. Yeah, that one. I just don't even know where to look. There's so many of them. They're all standing out. I, I can't cope with it. <laughs> I need to try that one out. That is a Cinderella dress. Mm -hmm. And it's big. That's nice. That's something she liked. Yeah, that's, uh, so that, the message is like big that's, and that's, bling. If Roy had ever bought a task, he should know that. No, again, like that's very what? big. Yay, big! But it is really nice. Go, Roy! So what about the wings, lads? The team is aviation and nautical. This keeps with the team anyway. You're saying nautical? Uh, have you thought about fishtail? Fishtail. You know, no. like the mermaid silhouette? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah. that's a nice thing. Something like this. Okay. I would definitely, definitely hate the real mermaid style. It's really even kind of fitted down here and really comes out then at the end. I would absolutely, I no, no thank you. Yeah, no, I really like that. I nice. really, really hate those type of mermaid it's, dresses. It's Maybe she should have mentioned that to Roy. I don't know, will she love the whole trail? I don't know. Roy has two options, the little mermaid style that she dreads or her dream big and bling princess. And when Roseanne says big and bling, she means big and bling. Lovely. This is a fairy tale. This is my Cinderella one. That is. Yeah. See the back? It's gorgeous. It's beautiful.
This is my dress and my dreams, really. Since I was about 11, 12, I've been dreaming of this dress. It's everything that I want. Do you think I would pick something like this? Oh, I couldn't, I know. I'd not in my stomach now, just thinking about it. He's not going to pick this. But maybe Roseanne should have more faith. After all, big and bling might just be his thing. It is really nice. Lovely dress, and it really is actually a lovely dress. But never mind the bride's fairy tale. Is it suitable for flying? Cram that into the plane could be a big problem. Yeah, yeah that's that's one thing, yeah. The bottom is too wide for the plane. Yeah. It's too round, it's too big. Yeah. And plus yeah, it's thirteen hundred euros, so. Did he say thirteen hundred euros? Next please. Is this what they would call the fish there? Yeah. I think it's amazing. I actually really like it. Yeah, look, I really like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that. That's actually sick. Yes. Jesus Christ, that's unreal. That's savage. Roseanne's fairy tale may be turning into a fish tale, and she's afraid it won't have a happy ending. <laughs> I don't have the faith in Roy at this moment. He doesn't pay attention. His mind, even if you have a conversation, his mind wanders off and he doesn't like spending money. So especially on me. Ah, speaking of money. So this dress is 2,000 euro. What? <laughs> I would be able to sell you the sample. So I will be able to do the sample okay. for you for half price. So that's okay. 1,000 euro for the dress. Now, obviously, the bolero and the veil, they're going to be an extra 300 as well, so that brings okay. it up to, to 1300 That's the best uh, the best price you can do. I know you can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could bring it down to 1200 All right, look, I'm really into the dress. I really like it. We can see Roseanne in both of these dresses. I don't know, will Roseanne love being in that dress as much as this dress? Guys, I really can't get this wrong. Go with your gut, go with your gut. Yeah, that's well, at, at, the minute, at the minute, my gut is saying this. Uh, like, if, you, if, if your heart is in it. Yeah. I do, I feel Want a hug? Yeah, do you. Give me a hug there, please. <laughs> Are you going to cry? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's going to cry. All right, lads, can I just have a couple of minutes, please? Oh, that's no problem. All right, take your time, right? You can see, yeah, you can see now he's a bit of, he's a bit on the stress, all right, you know, compared to the first the first day. Yeah. It was all excitement, yeah. but now. <laughs> yeah, now he's the fair god in him. Yeah. You think that this is such an easy task, but when you're in here and you take account of the day that's about to happen, your mind starts running and at the end of the day, I just want to do Roseanne proud. It's decision time. The mermaid it is. <laughs> That's a beautiful dress, right? Yeah, it looked great in your bedroom floor, wasn't it? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I'm confident that Roseanne would look amazing in that dress. I just hope that she feels that way. With everyone under a lot of pressure, it's time to blow off some steam, starting with the hen. Absolutely just don't have a clue what's going on here. Where we are, it's definitely not a spa package anyway. <laughs> definitely not a spa. Roy has arranged for the girls and his future mother-in-law to spend a fun-packed day at the Glen Resource and Sports Centre. Cheers, girls. Cheers, Cheers, ladies. We don't know what we're doing yet. <laughs> so far, so good. Roy has organised a very special snow tubing session. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell is snow tubing? I'm the clue. The mums may not know what snow tubing is, but it comes with its own health warning. Hazardous activities. Oh, you really don't like the sound of that, like. It's a bit like Roy's wedding plans on a slippery slope. Are you going to do it again? Yeah. So are you. Maybe a bit of a scary cat when it comes to things like that, but Roy would always try to get me out of my comfort zone, and that's exactly what he did today. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Meanwhile, in the heart of Cork City, Roy's stag remains a complete mystery. 
I'm kind of worried that they're going to have something extreme or something really embarrassing for me to do, you know? If Paul organises, it's going to be payback for a lot of stuff over the years. <laughs> payback it is, but with a cute little dog called Lexi, how bad could it be? Time for Roy to walk a mile in the bride's shoes, or at least her dress. And that's just for starters. Right, right. You have to go the length and breadth of Oliver Plunkett Street. You can't stop until you get at least 10 people say that you are cuter than the dog. <laughs> Who's cuter, me or the dog? Oh, the dog. Can <laughs> <laughs> I ask you a question, please? Who's cuter, me or the dog? The dog. All right, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. In fairness, they have a point. My boobs are sore, my feet are sore. <laughs> Get my pint, please. I'm not feeling super sexy here. I don't think it was the right dress for me. <laughs> for Azan, the hen has moved on to cocktails in town. And an interrogation by her soon-to-be mother-in-law. How many dates did you go on before the deed was done? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is what they call oversharing. Oh, she definitely got too much information tonight. I am embarrassed, to be no. fair. No, 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 no. The morning after, and the hangovers will have to wait. This late in the day, Roy has to sort a reception venue fast. And he hopes one of his favourite places, Bunny Canellans, might be able to help him out. Yeah, every woman has to love this. Oh, it's actually beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely sick. <laughs> this place is unbelievable. Yeah. I'm in awe of this place. Like, I love it. Like, I've had my communion down here. Like, it was a place that my family came down to, and there's a lot of good moments down here. I love this place, so I want to make this work. Main courses, mm -hmm. desserts. Not a traditional wedding venue, but at this late stage, Roy is out of options. 30 euros ahead. Okay. Would you flex on the corkage? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> We've got a good price for the wine, so we can do this with 100 people for three and a half thousand. <laughs> There's a deal. <laughs> The venue is booked, but with only days to go, he still hasn't invited Roseanne to her own wedding. I just put a little letter together as the date that we get married. I'd rather keep it short and sweet, tell her how I feel, say goodbye. I don't want her to re be reading an essay. First, I thought it was going to be a three-week break. I didn't really realise that I relied enough so much, but I do. I just when I see, you know, I'd say I'd wrap my arms around her. And, uh, I'm gonna leave her go. <laughs> Roseanne has a, a nose like a hound. So I was thinking I'll spray this in here and see will she even pick up the scent of it. Right. The idea behind it is that she opens the box and she's greeted with this aroma of manly, beastly, fucking ferociousness. <laughs> and then she sees all this lovey dovey stuff. Combination of lovey dovey and beastly manliness. Lucky girl. Unable to sleep, next morning Roseanne is up with the lark. And there's only one thing on her mind. This is where I feel. We're going to get to all like the day before. It's 8 a.m. The Carrick Tool Gospel Choir don't normally do house calls. But for the wedding invitation, Roy has convinced them to make an exception. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! When the doorbell rang and I opened it, I geez, I wasn't expecting that. Like, I'm still in shock over it. The last thing you would expect on a Saturday morning in Holly Hill is for like 30 people to knock on your door and sing at you. I'm surprised she didn't faint. When I kind of heard the part of like your your wedding day, my heart just broke. It started melting over. Like I feel so alive now after that. It's after parking me up big time. Now for that touch of beastly manliness. I can smell it already. <laughs> He's breathing. Every love story is beautiful, but ours is my favourite. Seriously, missing you every minute of this experience. <laughs> I thought I'd be okay. 
train lost without you. Looking forward to seeing you walk down the aisle. Love you, Roy. In a wedding ceremony where only 30 guests are allowed, Roy's not making it any easier. He's going for seven bridesmaids and seven groomsmen. If Roy would have it, could have it his way, he would have had at least 15 groomsmen at the altar, if not more. I'm in a bit of a sticky situation at the minute. We're only allowed to have 30 guests in the hangar in Cork Airport. And 30 guests will barely cover my immediate family and Roseanne's immediate family. You have three of Roseanne's brothers? Yeah, well, Megan, we just started thinking. Now they have to decide who makes it to the ceremony and who doesn't. The final tally comes to 31. Somebody will have to go. Only one person can save the day. Right, this is the layout of our ceremony. We can only bring 30 people. 30 people? What? You're not serious. Mm -hmm. So that's 31. So that's 31. So who is the one person that you're going to lose? Oh my God, Roy. All right, but look, we have to lose someone. Pick. Can, can we lose one of these? How many are there? One, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven. Who needs seven bridesmaids? Hang on, you've Megan here. And you've Megan there as well. That's, that's <laughs> 30. You counted Megan twice. What in the name of God is wrong with you? All right. Have to, he'll have to get serious about this part now. Because if you, if you go wrong with this, there'll be, there'll be just trouble. There'll be more of Right now, Roy is more concerned with headwear than bridal wear, and he's really looking forward to opening this special delivery. Oh, oh. <laughs> these things are deadly. Oh. Today, Roseanne, her mother Noreen, and bridesmaid Leanne are going to see the wedding dress for the first time. My whole body is just up in a heap with the unknown and what's going on. The nerves are really artists kicking in. She's only getting her dress today and they're getting married tomorrow, so if it's the wrong dress, I don't know what we're going to do. She's quite nervous that he is going to get it wrong. Don't worry. <laughs> no matter what the dress. The last the thing she wanted was the mermaid-style dress. This could go horribly wrong when the blindfold comes off. I actually feel sick far from it. I do yeah. the snow as well myself. I just hope it's not what she said she really didn't want. Yeah. Like, it could be bad. Mum and Leanne are prepared for the it's worst. Than anything. Yeah. The time has come for Roseanne to see her wedding dress. that he got the dress right. She was so nervous about it, but I'm amazed because there is a few things on the dress she said she didn't want. Like, she didn't want the mermaid, but, like, it worked. It's a mermaid, is it? Yeah, but it's not a... It's not, mermaid, yeah. It's the sparkle that's standing into me, you know. It's gorgeous. It's, it's definitely not what I said I wanted, but I think it's a lot better. I feel amazing in it. I'm on cloud nine at the moment. Roy got the opposite of what his bride wanted, and she loves it. He's either a genius or the luckiest man in Ireland. He did so, so well that I just feel nothing can go wrong now. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. With the wedding set to take place in less than 24 hours, Team Roy are hastily trying to turn Bunny Canellans into a dream venue. Huh? I hope to God it's not like this tomorrow. Yeah, stop. One thing they can count on is if the weather holds, the bride will definitely be blown right. away. Don't let go, you blow it. Sure you have them up off the ground, Soon the initial decorations are in place. Yeah. 
Jesus, would you look at that? I reckon she loved that. Now for the rest of his seafaring design. Nautical, but nice. Poor old Roy. There just aren't enough hours in the day. Way too much to do. Yeah, I know, but there's too much. You know what I mean? Too much. You know, it's... What a grass to be done, to be done, you know? So don't worry, don't worry about it. You know? It's, it's not going the way I want it to go. It's pretty heavy there. I'm massively feeling the pressure. Today, I thought we'd get everything done today. It's great to have all these big ideas, but getting them done is another situation. Like, you know, we're running out of time, and the weather's brutal. So I'm, I'm not in a great mood about everything right now. But Roy's main concern is the stunt plane ride that he's booked for his bride. There seems to be a Force 9 gale on the horizon. Tomorrow ends up like this, I'm going to be disgusted. Disgusted. The big day has arrived, and the bridal party are up with the lark and raring to go. You happy? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Nervous. <laughs> <Come on, then. laughs> Watch the hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's the dress? <laughs> and with a special delivery of the wedding dress, Roseanne's smile gets even brighter. But back at the groom's HQ, things aren't quite so organised. It's quarter past nine there now. We need to be there for half ten because I have lots to do. Rosanna will be, be there as well over half, over half eleven and stuff, so we have to, we have to make sure that we're there on the time. I need to have a shower, try my gear and just... Now Chip and the best man embark on a cleanup operation involving one big airport hangar, seven groomsmen, and one tiny Hoover. I'm not looking. Okay, Mum, over here. For the bride, her first glimpse at what her dream day will look you like. You are like a princess. Oh! <laughs> They'd throw it beyond. Might kill you all later, but I'd throw it at the moment. One big thing, <laughs> one big thing, right? You're out the door and there's no coming back. All right, that's all right. right. You're not a boomer, eh? All right, that. It's out and you stay out, okay? I think we're both all happy, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, come on, let's rock and roll. Let's go. Time to head to the hangar. Meanwhile, the bride is on her way to the day she always dreamed of, in the dress she never dreamed she'd wear. <laughs> this wedding is a real seven-a-side match. Seven groomsmen and seven bridesmaids. <laughs> See you later, girl. <laughs> it's the day she's always dreamed of, but alone in the car with her dad, heading to a wedding she knows nothing about, Reality starts to sink in. It's just all starting to actually feel real right now. And the nerves are actually starting to get back in again. But yeah, this is definitely to hurt Where, seriously, like, where, where are we going? As they head into the city and out again, Rosanna is still none the wiser. Then suddenly, it all seems very familiar. Are you serious? Is he actually taking me off to the airport then? Flight training centre. Why why am I here like? I'm hardly getting married in here. I wouldn't bank on that. Looking like it. Are you serious? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Everybody here, what, you, what am I doing here? Please, come and tell me. I'm standing in a border cabin in my wedding dress. On my big day, like, seriously, what? What's going on, like? Oh, 
Brandon. Oh, your mommy and daddy getting married now, yeah, buddy. I'm over the moon. It's, yeah, it's what I envisioned from first day when I first came up here, you know. This is what I had thought and planned. I'm buzzing now. Buzzing, can't wait. I'm Jerry. While the wedding party wait in the hangar for Roseanne, a little pre-wedding treat. No idea whatsoever. Your fiance has booked you to go and do an aerobatic trial lesson. <laughs> we do some twirls, we go loop the loop, and then we come back, and it's great fun. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But we could all sit up there. I'm not, not I'm all. not doing that. Oh, Jesus Christ. And we have a man with, a, with an umbrella. How big is the umbrella? Big enough, you'd be glad. Okay, you come and see it with an umbrella. Yeah. Good for you. We we'll keep the dress spotless, <laughs> honest to God. Okay, just give it two seconds. I am absolutely terrified. Clearly, he's getting a thrill out of this for putting me through shit. Oh. Oh my God. Roseanne had this crazy notion that she would be walking up the aisle by now. Instead, she's standing in the rain about to risk life and limb. Roy may not have heard the last of this. Oh, Roy, you're dead! Now, here it is. Seating arrangements in the stunt plane are cosy. Oh, I'm going to get in there. Hold well on. Ah! Uh, well, there you go, perfect. Look at this. Beautiful. Oh, Jesus Christ. Perfect. I'm just pissed off now that Roy has even done this. Oh, there you go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts. Here comes the bride. It's the weather, they can get up. It's just not suitable to go up to the aromatics. Oh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. With the weather, we can't compromise the engine. Okay. Sorry about that, mate. All right. Time for pilot Jerry to put Roseanne out of her misery. You're off the hook for one day, all right? <laughs> yes. Airplane control wouldn't let us go. The weather's too bad. Never thought I'd be delighted of actually having bad weather on my wedding day. And so the weather puts the hold on probably the worst idea in the whole history of bad ideas. At least the lads are having fun. But then again, they are bone dry. I'm surrounded by all their friends. Are you alone? Oh, my God. Oh, my After a traumatic morning, a very wet bride finally gets to walk up the aisle. A very important moment. Roy, do you take Roseanne in marriage to be your wedded wife, to share your life? I do. I do. Roseanne with this ring, I wed thee. Roy with this ring, I wed thee. Wear it as a sign of my life. I now declare them husband and wife. Roy, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. and Mrs. Mooney. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. <laughs> Roseanne's face, oh my God. Their eyes just met, you know, there was nobody else. None of the rest of us were here. 
there's only Roy and Roseanne was here, really. All in all, Roseanne took getting married in a drafty shed pretty well. But she's probably hoping for a more comfortable venue at the reception. The guests are also a little curious. You can fuck off. <laughs> Boy wants to take a moment right. to enjoy the view. What do you think? It's raining. You just want to get in? Yeah. Okay. Maybe later. Boy's plans for the airplane never took off, so will his nautical wonderland have the desired effect? Oh my God. That is gorgeous. <laughs> oh, that's gorgeous. The whole place is just stunning. When I walked in, it just took my breath away. Loving the r and thing. I want to keep that for my bedroom. <laughs> but it's beautiful, it's stunning. <laughs> oh, I do. It's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, you do? <laughs> really? Yeah, of course. Nice and nice. Oh, that's so cute. I didn't think you had it in you. No? No. I can't, I can't believe you've done this. Eh? You've You're done not. good. <laughs> Only 30 guests could be at the ceremony, but now they're arriving by the busload, ready to party. I'm so happy. I just love funny. My, I I'm, love I'm thrilled for you. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> I'd like to thank my my wife. There just isn't enough that I could say to describe how much we feel. I love you to the moon and back. The last three weeks has been hell without you. You do know like how much I'm after missing you. I do know because I know how much I've missed you. Which is? Uh, a bloody lot. <laughs> and I didn't realise how much I actually relied on you for everything. And apart from the singing, it seems Roy has hit all the right notes. I love you, Rosanne. I would never have thought of him as being this romantic. Absolutely never. But I have to give it to him. He was fantastic. Mr. and Mrs. Mooney. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm proud anymore. I'm just going to say I'm so happy. I really so happy. And I doesn't know more I can say. Always wanted you to know. I can't put into words. I know how proud and ecstatic I feel. It's 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 there's a, a buzz. It's like electric, you know. So far from home. It's definitely the wedding of the year. Even though it's only January, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Roy outdid himself, like, he, he did. did. It was great, eh? Yeah, it was. Yeah. The way you move me, you see right through me. I can't help but fall.